Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 4. Um, so, in today's welcome episode... Back, hello, Anna. Um, in today's episode, I thought we would go and do some of the showcase events. Um, but before we do that, uh, I got told about another barn find. Uh, so we'll go and find that. We've also got a couple of barn finds to collect uh, from uh, that we found the other day. Um, so let's do those. Oh no, we can't do that. We need to go to the house. We'll do that afterwards. Let's find this next one. Uh, where was it? Here it is. It's down here somewhere. So let's go to here. And I'll see you there. Right, we are at the uh, location for the uh, barn find. Uh, now we've just got to try and find the barn find. Uh, so as you can see, I'm driving one of Ken Block's uh, hooligan cars. Um, this one in particular is an Escort RS Cosworth. Uh, really cool car. Like, really, really cool car. Um, but this one I've tuned, I've sort of taken right to the max, basically, as, as good as it can go. Um, just try and keep an eye out for this barn. Um, this is the only time I, I use chase cam, like, I hate chase cam. But yeah, this car is super awesome. Uh, I absolutely love this car, though, it's so quick. I had it going on the way here. Uh, I hit 201 mile an hour in an escort. Right. Uh, yeah, super, super cool car. Um, let's try and find this farm. Where might it be? It's going to be like in the woods somewhere. That's a house, not a farm. Oh, we can buy that house. Ooh, I'm gonna hit a tree. No, I don't think it's gonna be down there, so let's have a look in here. There it looks like a building. Uh, so yeah, I may have slightly broken my car, um, but that looks like a barn to me. You found it? Nice. The red is right. I'll be there as quick as I can. Quattro. Wicked. Audi Sport Quattro with a siren and everything. People are saying this belonged to. Wait, in the door are those bullet holes? Uh, explain later. Right now, let's get this to the garage. Are they insinuating that's the Quattro from Ashes to Ashes? Because if they are, that's super, super we'll cool. just lock that barn up and... Alright, call you... Right, uh, let's have a look at that house. Uh, we'll get the influence board first. Uh, and then we will... Turn if my car will actually get me there. So. so yeah, this is like full power of my car at the moment. Um, but yeah, we might actually buy this house. Actually, no, we will buy this house, if we can afford it. Didn't look too fancy, so it shouldn't be too expensive. Alright, where's this influence board, then? You have arrived at your destination. There it is, it's in the shed. This car has such little power that I can't even break a shed. Come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. Right, let's view the house and then we can repair our car. Kingfisher Cottage. Doesn't get any more serene than this, my friend. This one is on the National Heritage Register, though, so don't ask me to put in a satellite dish or a basketball court or anything. Yeah, let's buy it. Why not? I'm not using Enjoy. our money for anything at the moment. But like I said, take care. 
You do not want the National Heritage people after you. Uh, no, I don't want to set it as my home. Uh, but I do want to collect our barn find cars. Uh, ready to collect. There we go. They made 19 oh. of these. Just 19, that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? The last time one came up for auction, it went for nearly £10 million. Pounds. Not a bad find for a couple of chums and a walk in the woods, eh? Look at that. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. What's the other one we unlocked? An Escort RS Turbo. You're going to have so much fun in this. It's weird finding one just gathering dust in a barn, actually. Much more likely to find one parked in a lake or a ditch. Yeah, not as nice as the Aston, but still nice. Uh, right. Uh, I want to change my car. Should we have a drive of the, of the new one? Yeah, go on. Let's have a drive of our new DB4 Zagata. Oh. I'm going to change the colour though. Okay, if I go paint car and we go manufacturer colours. You know what? I do quite like it in red. Green is iconic. But I quite like it in red. You know what? Let's have it in red. Yeah, let's have a, a red DB4 Zagato. Right, we are going to do some showcase events today. Um, so there should be one near here, I think. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's come out of this. So it turns out that there's a drift club nearby that goes by the name of, well, Drift Club. Spoke to their lead guy, Robert Glenn. You should have seen his face when I told him I knew you. He's keen to meet you, wants to see what you can do behind the wheel. Okay, so in terms of showcases, we've got this one. So uh, let's drive there. Oh, we're on mud. Or gravel or dirt or... This isn't where this car is supposed to be. But look how gorgeous that is. Oh, we've got a wheel spin. Can I win the Sylvia? Oh, come on. Pink polo. Okay. 150,000. That's like half the value of our house, so... Am I in a quarry now? <laughs> I feel like this car shouldn't be here. This is like totally the wrong place for this car. Yeah, that's not going to be very quick. Through! Oh! What have I done? No, can I go into first? Blathering about some classic car abandoned nearby. Hey, come help me find it and shut them up, will you? Okay, I'm gonna go and find the barn find first. Just because that they take time to like actually collect and things like that. So we'll go and find the barn find and then. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. It's not the quickest of cars, is it? I don't know Turn how right. much of that is. Because I've um, smashed it into a tree and a rock in the quarry. Yeah, slow gear shift, <laughs> especially compared to my 911 that I've been driving. Trust 
Okay, another beauty spot found. Okay, we're near the purple circle. So... I don't think it's going to be on this side. I think it's going to be up in the trees. But we'll start by scouting around down here. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah, I don't think it's in the woods. A few moments later. Oh, there it is. How did you find another? <gasps> Why am Scooby. I asking? Be there soon. They're all rally cars. Will you have a look at that? One for me, finally. It's an Impreza 22B, an old rally gem. Only a small handful were imported into the UK, so this is a really rare find. Come on, let's get it fixed up. I'll get it back to the garage, shall I? Whilst we were uh, looking for that one, uh, we got told that our Audi Quattro was ready, so... Uh, I'm going to fast travel back to uh, my house, uh, and then, is this our house? No, that one's for sale. Uh, we own that one. Let's go back to our home. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fast travel back to the house and change to the Audi Quattro. Right, so about those holes. The story on Reddit was that this used to belong to a police detective who was involved in multiple shootouts. I'm like... 80% sure that nobody died in this car. So, enjoy, I guess. Yeah, it's got to be uh, it's got to be the one from uh, Ashes to Ashes. So, all I've done with this car is I've put the side stickers on the side, uh, the Audi logo on the side, um, so that it is uh, the same as uh, the one from Ashes to Ashes. So we were going to do the motocross showcase, so let's actually go there. <laughs> right, we are at the uh, at the showcase. Uh, so one of the things that um, I've realised sort of playing off screen is that I really enjoy the rallying in this game, or the dirt driving. Um, yeah, I, I really, really enjoy it. Like, I've upgraded my Lance here as well now. And that is just so much fun to uh, uh, to uh, to drive. Let me guess, we're racing the motocross riders. So, how are you on the dirt? Pretty good, right? I've seen you drive. Are you better than, let's say, a dirt bike? Okay, but are you better than four dirt bikes? Don't know, let's find out, shall we? Although that paint scheme is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so I did this once before, and uh, I ended up uh, coming second, because um, I hit a stupid rock. Um, but now I know where I'm going, and it basically don't need to break. Um, yeah, this this rally car, I'm not, I'm not overly keen on it, it's not quick. Well, it doesn't feel very quick, but it struggles to get over 100 mile an hour. And it's not just because I'm in fit, like, the gearing is really short, because it's, I've done it again. So this is my third attempt um, at this. Um, I keep hitting the same rock and rolling it, um, which is really, really annoying. But basically, you don't need to brake on this car. I, I don't like this car. Like, this rally car seems not very quick. Like, it struggles to get above 100 mile an hour. Right, now I need to remember, it's round here, it's this rock. 
that rock there. That rock there is, uh, that's the one that I keep rolling on. So hopefully, now that I've got past that, I should be able to win this. How did he speed up mid-air? Hey Blue, thread the needle with me. I'm sorry, that's not how motorbikes work. You can't just gain speed mid-air. How are you supposed to beat Blue? Right, I've just dropped the difficulty bonus, or the difficulty from highly skilled to above average or whatever it is, to see whether that makes any difference, but I had an almost perfect run and I still came second and I'm not sure... Because how the bikes gain speed mid-air I do not know. Oh, I hit a rock. Like how they gain speed hey, mid-air is just cheating. I'm sorry, there is no other way to describe that. That is cheating. Because you can't gain speed mid-air. Your wheels that give you the speed are literally touching nothing. No, that's not first. Oh, for goodness sake, that was... <laughs> that was amazing. That was tight. I have a team of slightly bewildered motocross riders who all want to turn behind the wheel of your car now. I don't. It was a rubbish car. you don't need to go on bikes. That was a really bad car. Like, I hope I don't win that car, because it was awful. It was just so slow. Yeah, you've got a super wheel spin, though. That car was so bad. Hey, don't feel too bad for the drivers who got knocked out last round. When you see this next round of events, you may think they're the lucky ones. Round six is a goal. Right, so we did that showcase. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time, where I think we'll do another showcase. Let's do, yeah, let's do the Flying Scotsman showcase. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.